Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install Oncast on Android. What is Oncast? You must be thinking. Let's just explain what is Oncast. So Oncast is a free and open source live video and web chat server which is mostly compatible with any of the most popular broadcasting applications like OBS, Xplate, Zoom. So you can see those information from their website itself. If you need to learn more about what is Oncast, you can go to oncast.online and get the information from their website itself. Now that the introduction to what is Oncast is done, let's begin the installation of Oncast on our own Android server. To begin installation, we will first have to log into our Android page or the Android dashboard and you, need, you will have to find the community app step which is mentioned here. If you already haven't got the community app step, uh, I will have a link in the description explaining how to get it. From there itself, you can get it very easily. Just pause the video and go and get it and come back to it. If you have already done that, let's click on the apps tab. Now inside the apps tab, there's a search button. So let's search for Oncast from there. Click on it. Now this is the only available repository in Android currently for Oncast, so which is provided uh, to us by ICH777. So we are just going to click on install. Now you will have the container page or the configuration page for the installation of Oncast. In here, if you need, you can change the name for the container. In my case, I'm uh, just going to change it to Oncast main. It's not recommended or it's not uh, usually needed to change, but you can change it if you want. Uh, after changing the name, I'm just going to scroll down and for the network type, uh, normally it is under bridge, but it's better to select host. What happens is uh, the Oncast server will use our own Android server's IP address to host the uh, Oncast server and work its functions. So after changing the network type to host, uh, if you need to change your directory for Oncast, uh, you can just change it from here. Uh, in my case, I'm changing it to Oncast main as I have changed the name uh, to Oncast main as well. Uh, for the preferred version, we are just going to give it, uh, keep it, the, keep the latest version. And here, there are some port numbers mentioned. So by default, Oncast is working uh, using the web port 8080. Now, if you have currently any Docker's that are using the port 8080, you might have to change this to something which is not conflicting with those ports. In my case, I haven't. Uh, uh, install any services or dockers which are running or using this port number so i'm just going to leave it as it is and here this is the rtmp port uh, this port is used for live streaming using your application like obvious or zoom so in my case this port is also a default port and normally we are not going to change it so we are just going to leave it as it is now there are some additional things that you can do from here, especially these NVIDIA visible devices which can be used uh, to encode or process the live streams which are currently processing in your own car server using hardware encoding. Now in this video I am not going to show any of those things uh, done. So we are just going to install the basic uh, own cast installation on our Android server. Now, as a reminder, I just changed the name. It's not required to change the name. You can change it uh, if you want to. If you scroll down, change the network type to host. Uh, if you need to change the directory name, you can change it from here. Uh, if you need to change the port or if it is required to change the port for your server, change the port from here, which is the web port of our server. And the RTMB port, we are just going to leave it as it is. So that's the things that we did currently on our Android server. Now if those are done, what we need to do is click apply or in my case uh, we are just getting an error uh, mainly because we have just left a space. I'm just going to remove the space and now let's click apply again. 
now the installation is processing we just have to wait a few minutes or a few seconds depending on depending on your internet connection speed and let's come back after the installation is done Now that the installation is done, you can see the command is finished successfully. We are going to press the button done. And let's go back to Docker. And under Docker, you should be able to see the owncast Docker itself started and running. Now, for us to use this, we need to log in to the owncast dashboard or the owncast admin panel. Now, to do that, we will have to open a new tab. And as we selected the IP address or the network type as host, we need to use the IP address 192.168.150.252, which is my current uh, Unraid server's IP address. But in order to access owncast, I have to mention colon and type the port number 8080. Now, in this case, you are able to see that uh, currently uh, there is no stream running and stream is offline but from this interface itself you cannot change anything the logos the names all those kind of things but to do that just add slash admin to the end of the link that you just uh, type on your address bar and press enter now you are granted with the username and password Normally the username and password will be uh, admin uh, and the password will be abc123. So in my case, I'm just going to get, uh, enter those two and see whether we can log in or not. So as you can see, we were able to log into our Android server very easy, uh, owncast server very easily. And now what you have to do is configure the things that you want on your own, uh, owncast server in order for your stream to work properly. Normally the recommended things that you need to change under owncast is the stream key which is natively uh, will be the password itself. So ABC123 is the stream key as well. So better to change it first. So in order to change the stream key we will have to go to server setup and under there we have the option to change it. So in my case, I'm just going to keep it, but uh, if you need to change it, just erase it and type whatever the uh, name you want. And that's all. And this will be the uh, stream key that will be uh, used and as well, the, as well as the login key for your own car server. And the other things that you need to change, if you want to change the port number again, you can change it from here. RTMP port, you can change it from here. Uh, from general you can change the server's name you need to have a description about uh, your stream you can add it here the logos you can change it from here uh, and if you need to customize your page from uh, using ESS and other kind of things you can change it from here uh, if you want to change the bitrate of your stream or add new variants you can add from here so currently we are running a software based encoding system not using the hardware part so in this case the processor will be used for encoding and decoding the videos so depending on your processor's performance uh, you will you might have to change these values uh, to get a better quality or better performing uh, stream so we are just going to use the default one which is available here currently configured in the lowest mode and the bitrate has 1200 kilobits per second uh, and that's all basically so if you need to monitor chats and everything else all those things also can be done here from here you can see all the chats and users that are currently uh, joined and uh, working under your stream so that's all now in order to show you this is working 
I'm going to um, give you a live stream of the current recording that you are watching on this uh, Owncast server. So I'm just going to go back to my Owncast stream uh, page, which is colon 8080. And here you can see the stream is not running. Now, if I go here, which is my OBS, and go to settings, and go to stream, normally you will select one of these options twitch youtube facebook or something like that in this case we are going to select custom and here we need to enter the server address which is our own car server's address with the rtmp port 1935 slash live so these informations you can get it from the own car's web page if you miss it but in my case i have showed you uh, how that is entered so the server address should be rtmp colon slash slash 192.168.150.252 which is my IP address. In your case, this will be replaced using yours colon 1935 slash live. And the stream key, we need to enter the stream key which you created using or which you changed from server setup if you have left the default one you can use abc123 if you changed it then you need to use that stream key here after setting those things up and setting other configurations in obs which you might have already done uh, press ok and click start stream and if you go to or if we go to the browser and click on here and refresh this page you are able to see the stream that i was showing you and in a few seconds you might be able to see yourself in this yes so that means the stream is working properly and owncast is working properly so that's how you configure owncast on your android server uh, if this uh, video is helpful, give a like and subscribe my channel and share this on any platforms or share this with a friend who might be um, struggling with uh, different sort of content streaming or prevention from uh, other uh, platforms like Twitch or YouTube and uh, help them set up their own uh, streaming platform using Owncast uh, on their systems. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope that you enjoyed this video video and have a nice day thank you